bro. How are you? Bro, how are you? I'm all right, man. Uh, you know, I guess, uh, you know, well, we talked about this announcement today, and uh, I think we were going to wait till about 5 o'clock to do this, but obviously the proverbial cat is way out of the bag now. So uh, uh, we can say it definitively right here, right now, that uh, this is it for me, that um, – I definitely will be will be retiring. Be leaving uh, the station full t- on, an, on a full time basis as far as doing full time stuff. Uh, week from Friday will be our last show uh, with you and I, and um, after that we'll be uh, we'll be taking some time off, a lot of time. Be playing some golf, probably uh, going south to do that, and uh, you know we'll we'll go from there. We'll see uh, how things uh, how things happen next year, and and go from there. And of course, eventually. Uh, you know I want to wind up in, in Florida, and that's coming sooner than later. But, uh, you know, it's time. I mean, as far as as far as far my situation is concerned, and, bro, you know this. We've talked about it a lot. Uh, it's time to go, I mean, for me. I don't think there's any question about it. Um, and what else can you say? You know, it's been a great run. It's been a, a stellar 25 years. It's been a stellar, I don't know how many, wait, 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 how many think, years we're together now? 12, we, 13? How we many almost years got to, We almost got to 14 years, believe it. Is that right? what it is? Yeah. When did we officially start? November of 06? Is that it? We, you know, it's funny. I think we, we officially started in January of 07, but we were doing shows in November okay. of 06. Well, so we, I, okay, I thought so. Te- right, right, Technicality-wise, right. I guess right. we did hit 14 right. years, which is incredible. Yeah. No, it's unbelievable. And, uh, you know, you and I have had a, uh, a stellar ride. I mean, you know, we can... Oh, There's yeah. so many different things that you and I have done. You know, uh, we're not going to get into all of them on the air. But, <laughs> I was going to uh, say, right, right. We've uh, we've had we've had a lot of fun. Uh, we've had some memorable moments. Uh, we've done some some traveling to different places where we had some, uh, you know, some good good times. No doubt about it. We've been to a lot of different arenas. Uh, you and I together. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, the one thing it's it's very funny. And I. I you know, a number of people have reached out already today, and, and I want to thank everybody. I'll get, I, I, I'll get to everybody at some point uh, before all is said and done. Uh, my texting is not the best, as I've said over and over. So, you know, people will be getting phone calls from me as we go along. But, um, you know, I, I was thinking about this today. 25 years on the air, bro. 25 years, not one of my teams won a championship. I, I was just about to say that. 25 <laughs> years on the air. And not one of my sports teams, not the Jets, not the Mets, not the Knicks, not the Rangers, I missed the Rangers by a year, won a championship. So everybody but the Jets in the final, obviously the Mets in a couple World Series, the Knicks in a final in 99, because uh, in 94 I had not started yet. Uh, obviously the Rangers in 2014. Uh, the Jets, unfortunately, no Super Bowls for them. Three AFC championship games, they didn't go well. But... Um, yeah, it's unbelievable. 25 years, not one of my teams with a title. <laughs> it's really – and how about this, too? My first year on the air, which is 1995, my first, you know, full-time year, the Jets go 3-13. and They're as bad as could be. It's the co tight era. Uh, and now, in my final year, the Jets will have – I will have gone out with my team being 0-8 because we all know they have no shot to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> On Sunday, absolutely none. So my team will be 0-8 as I exit stage left, and uh, who knows, they'll probably end with a, with a, uh, a, uh, a winless season. But, yeah, I was thinking about that, man. It's been, it's been a great ride. It's been phenomenal. It's been a lot of fun. God knows that. But it hasn't exactly been a productive 25 years for the teams I root for. <laughs> that <laughs> is exactly. perfect perfect symmetry for the New York Jets. Cause, right. You know, right. I – it's funny. I've had the experience of listening to you and then working with you. And let me just say this, all right? Because right, you're very, right. you're very humble, all right? So I, I don't know, I, I don't know about how humble I am. <laughs> I just, I, I just like you do, bro. And this is why we've gotten along so great all these years. We live in the real world. Well, that is a true. lot of people in this business do not live in the real world. Well, I think that, that's really the key, you know, for both of us, really. I, well, the one thing that I think people recognize, but maybe they don't fully recognize, is that. You are the same exact person off air as you are on air. And you're literally one of the nicest guys in the world. Because I remember when I first did a show with you, I was like, well, man, I grew up listening to Joe Beningo. Right, what the hell right, is he going right. to be like? Right. And the one thing I remember the first time we ever did a show, you probably don't even remember this, and that's fine. 
It's like you took me around the studio intro, or the office, introducing me to everybody. Like the nicest. It was is the that, nicest thing Is that thing what ever. I did? I, you I, actually I did, yeah. I swear I do not remember. And, of course, that was back. You know. We were still in Astoria at that point. <laughs> no, I know. It was, it was we Astoria. were still in Astoria when we started. That's right. But, right. but I hope people get appreciation for the kind of guy you are because you are like one of the greatest guys in the world. And well, it's been I, an honor to getting to work with you and then before that listen to you. I, I don't want right, to make you feel right. old, but I did well, grow up listening to you in the overnight. No, you don't, no I am old. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> No, you don't have to worry about that, bro, because that's the case. I mean, let's be, you know, let's be real about it. Uh, yeah, no, I, look, I mean, um, you know, what can you say? Like I said, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a crazy ride. Uh, you know, I, I accomplished more than I ever, ever could have imagined uh, uh, in my life. I, I never thought I'd ever be involved in this. I mean, I go, you know, everybody knows. I mean, I was a, a caller to the station for a long time, specifically Mike and the Mad Dog. Had many, many battles with Mike and Chris over the years. Many. <laughs> you know, fighting fighting about the Knicks in the heyday of the Knicks, or at least in the heyday of the you know, Patrick Ewing era, anyway. Right. Many battles then. Uh, the Jet stuff, you know, all the different disa- disasters that the Jets were. Um, you know, so uh, it, it's just unbelievable. I mean, I, if you would have told me back then in those days – that I would, you know, here we are how many years later uh, that I would be, you know, going out after a 25-year career on the air where I've been in overnight, where I've been in the midday, and where we wound up ending in the, you know, in the afternoon drive slot, whatever you want to call it, even for as short a period of time as it turned out to be, uh, I would have said, you got to be kidding, man. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's unreal. It, it really is unreal to think about it. Really is. Nah, dude, you had a, you had a hell of a career, and though I was – trying to get you to stay until like 2025 2027 <laughs> i kind of knew over the last few years that that was right that was gonna happen right. but hey got you all the way until 2020 we got to experience to a pandemic together so Man. you had right. one of the great runs in radio it's one of the great stories in radio and you're gonna hear a lot of this for the next uh bit of time but congratulations because man you had a hell of a career well, and it was an honor getting to share part of that with you man Hey, look, you're a major part of it. You know, you've been my partner, like you said, for 13, 14 years, whatever it is. I mean, uh, you know, we went through a lot. Uh, you know, we both kind of grew up together uh, doing yeah. this. Uh, yeah. I think, you know, the midday stuff that we did, I think we took the midday to places where nobody else had done it. I mean, you know, you and I uh, really uh, solidified the midday show. I mean, I, I look at that over the years, and that was always a place where, you know, uh, shows would come and go like the wind. You know, it was almost like jet coaches in the midday. <laughs> You know, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, right? I mean, it, 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 you know, every time you turned around, it was like a new midday show. And, you know, of course, I had my beginnings with Sid. When I first started, I was doing the show with yep, uh, the yep. great Sid Rosenberg. And um, hopefully we'll have Sid on at some point, you know, uh, before, we're, before we end next Friday. But, uh, you know, and obviously, you know, Sid had his ups and downs and things didn't quite work out. And then I was doing it alone for a while. And, you know, Chernoff had always said, you know, I, you know, I, well, you know, I, I really do want this to be a two-man thing. You know, he had said that for a long time. Right. And uh, then eventually you came along. And, and really the rest is history. But we did things in, in the midday, man. We Just think about that. I mean, it was nobody. Nobody did 14 years of the midday. or, or even, And in my case, going back to when I yeah, first started in 04. So I really, yeah. for the midday, it was like, you know, what is that? Uh, 04, 15 years, whatever it is. How many years yeah. is that? Uh, I don't even know. You're asking 15. me to do math. Fifteen, yes. Oh, four to nineteen. 15. That's fifteen, 15. Years. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right. Incredible, man. And listen, you are whether you want to admit it or you don't want to admit it. And with all due respect to Ira, because Ira knows this, you are the voice mm. of Jet fandom. Well, you have been, and you will continue to be. It's well. a very tough thing that you hold, but it's true, Joe. <laughs> All right? I know it's not the most ideal thing, but you right. are right. the voice of the fans of this horrible football team. You represent the people that root for this, you know, whatever word you want to describe, this franchise. And you've been that voice for many, many years and will continue to be that voice well, for many, look, many years. Well, look, you know what? Uh, I don't know what kind of voice I am or whatever. All I know is one thing is that, you know, before I leave the earth, before you leave the earth, before Ernie leaves the earth, before all all my Ira leaves the earth, you know, all my good buddies uh, that are the big Jet fans, my good buddy Tommy Keenan, who I just spoke to a little while ago, you know, all all the guys out there, all the heavy-duty Jet fans that are out there, and there's a lot of guys, uh, you know, Joey and Clark comes to mind, uh, Kenny and Staten Island, all these different guys that we could, uh, and I, I hope I'm 
I'm probably missing a lot of people, but, you know, I apologize for that. All I want to see is another, for me, another Super Bowl. For all you guys that have not seen one, you know, see that championship. Have that feeling of, you know, uh, you know watching the AFC title game, whether it's at the MetLife Stadium or wherever it may be on the road, and knowing as that game is closing out that our team is going to the Super Bowl. To have that moment, mm. which, you know, I, I guess I didn't appreciate enough, you know, back in, uh, you know, uh, December of 1968 when the Jets beat the, uh, the Oakland Raiders to get to that Super Bowl, Super Bowl three, and even winning it, you know, as a 15-year-old kid, I didn't appreciate it like I certainly would now as a 67-year-old guy <laughs> who hasn't even hasn't seen his team even in the big game since then, you know. So uh, I hope that for everybody, all, all the Jet fans, to experience that, that we all, you know, compete together, if not, you know, physically in a uh, in spirit to experience what that would be like to see our team in the Super Bowl and then, dare I say, win the Super Bowl. I, I, I can't imagine what that would be like. Well, I remember we were flying back from, I forget where, it may have been Tampa, and it, the plane was moving. No, it was to the Super Bowl. That's what it was. We were flying out. Was this the first first giant uh, jet? A uh, giant, <laughs> oh, a giant jet Super Bowl. <laughs> the first giant uh, Patriots Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah, I think it was that we, one. Yes. We thought the plane was going down. That <laughs> yes. One? Okay. And I think I remember you telling me, look, it's a good sign. It means the Jets are going to win a Super Bowl. You know, plane's going to go down. That's right. a positive sign. Right. Maybe you not being full time will be the sign of the Jets winning a Super Bowl next year. Maybe. Wow. Maybe they go from 0 and 6. Maybe it all changes now, right? Maybe. Maybe, maybe it does all change. Maybe the, the, the right head coach comes in. Maybe they do. They draft Trevor Lawrence, and he turns out to be, you know, uh, the guy we've waited for since Joe Willie. Uh, you know, we can only hope that that happens, bro. We, we can only hope that that's going to be the case. Um, if that's what it takes, that's terrific. I'll tell you Amen. that. Man, well. Seriously, bro, congratulations. You had a, a historic run in New York City for 25 years. Uh, you should be nothing but proud, man, because there's so many people out there. And, yeah, your phone will blow up over the next little bit of time. So many people you probably have never heard from who are going to come out of the woodwork to thank you because there are so many people out there that listen to you in the overnight, that listen to you in the middays, and you've made a big impact on so many people around this town. So on behalf of a lot of them, thank you, man. It was a hell of a run. Well, I appreciate it, bro. I I really do. You know I love you. I have nothing but love for you. And uh, what else can I say? And I want to say this, too, for you because, you know, you're going on to bigger and better things. I mean, I don't want to get into all of this, but you certainly are. And uh, it it is well-deserved because you are the man. When you talk about uh, sports, you know, as far as the knowledge of sports, okay, there is nobody, nobody in the New York metropolitan area in this country that I know of, that knows sports in and out like you do. I mean, you are the guy. So um, that is no that. question about that, man. You are the premier sports voice there is. Uh, and like I said, I don't. You, you could name. And I don't want to start naming names, but you could name whoever guys who are more famous than you, and guys that you know. As I don't have to tell you, are making more money than you. Okay, <laughs> that that they can't. They, they're not even in the same world. Well, that's you, very nice. Now, stop. as far as what you Stop know it, about but I sports, bro. It. <laughs> well, I just Thanks, want to make man. sure. No, I, I do. I appreciate. I'm it. telling it like you it know is. You know me. I don't. I don't pull no punches here. No, bro. that's the, that's, that's what's made you great for him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that is the truth for uh, for people that know you or whatever. But uh, you're the best. There's no doubt about it. And like I said, you're going on to bigger and better things, and God knows you deserve that as well. So let me say that. Well, that's very kind. I appreciate it, man. We do have a, a show to do today. The great Michael Irvin will join us a little uh, bit later on. Blake Martinez of the New York Football Giants. And uh, I think we do have some comments about what happened last night in the World Series between the Tampa Bay Rays yep. oh and the God. Los Angeles Tigers. What a disgrace. That's, that, I mean, really? Really? Oh, yes. Uh, we got to get it. disgraceful last night. Yeah. We'll discuss that. Of course, we'll talk to you. 877-337-6666. Beningo and Roberts here on The Fan until 6 o'clock tonight. 